Silver CFL with Jim Bernard grooving along on a beautiful Saturday morning. How's your fanny, baby? Seems like you don't want the love of this man at all. And it's sure been a time right up to the time. This is John Gandlis, the Chicago area forecast. Calls for occasional light snow this morning, but no accumulation to speak of. Saturday will be a mostly cloudy day with a high of the lower 30s, and Sunday's outlook just about the same. Police are looking for a couple of guys who went into the northwest side home of a city employee and walked out with fifteen to $20,000. The thieves found the door to 59-year-old Fred Pope's house on North Neva Avenue unlocked. They caught Pope while he was shaving. Both were armed, one with a knife, the other guy with a gun. They tied Pope up, took the money, all in $100 bills that were hidden in pillowcases in his bedroom, and split. Pope was slightly hurt, but he's okay. A strike that was almost a month old by about 50 workers at the People's Gas Company plant near Joliet has ended. It's believed the contract agreement is the first labor pact involving the new synthetic natural gas plant. The contract sets up wage rates for such jobs as pipe fitters, plumbers, and welders. Operations are expected to begin in about two weeks. That winter storm avoided the northern part of Illinois Friday, dumped six to eight inches of snow in the central and southern parts of the state. Christmas travelers forced onto the highways faced snow-packed roads and heavy drifting in some areas downstate. There were few reports of serious injury, though, since motorists were forced to drive 30 miles, uh, 30 miles an hour even less, even on interstate highways. Hundreds buried their cars in snowbanks. State police at Effingham said the number of cars and trucks stuck along Interstate 57 were just too many to mention. Secondary roads were almost impassable in the Champaign area, 
although no roads were closed by police. State Revenue Director Robert Alfin is out with a list of accomplishments. This is Bob Christopher. Alfin, in a year-end summary of his department's activities, says 1975 was one of the most successful years in the Revenue Department's history. Stricter enforcement of tax laws, better processing techniques, and increased voluntary compliance made for better tax collection. More tax dollars were brought into the General Revenue Fund, and more services were provided to citizens than in any other year. A crackdown on delinquent sales tax returns brought in more than a half million during the first three months of the program. Mistakes on state tax returns were down by 25% as a result of the Revenue Department's Information and Assistance Program. And income tax refunds were processed nearly twice as fast this year as in 1974. A Cairo newspaper reports that Libyan leader Colonel Muammar Gaddafi financed a recent terrorist attack on the Vienna headquarters of the Organization of Oil Exporting Countries. The paper also says a popular front for the liberation of Palestine also was involved in planning the attack. Six terrorists raided the OPEC headquarters last Sunday during an oil minister's meeting, taking ten ministers and other persons hostage. They later were released in Algiers and in Tripoli. West German authorities have identified the seriously wounded terrorist who took part in that attack in the OPEC headquarters. They say the gunman is 28-year-old West German who worked in a lawyer's office in Frankfurt. The State Department says CIA agent Richard Welch, murdered by unknown gunmen in Athens earlier this week, will be buried in the Foreign Service section of Washington's Rock Creek Cemetery. The burial will take place next week on a day yet to be set. Senator Edward Kennedy said the spread of nuclear weapons around the world is, in his words, the number one danger posed by the atom. Writing in the January issue of the U.S. Catholic, the Massachusetts Democrat says ending the arms race is what he termed a moral and political imperative. The second largest employer in Michigan's Upper Peninsula, the White Pine Copper Company, says it is laying off 2,100 of its 2,900 workers. The layoffs are due to a depressed copper market. Kansas City's Philharmonic Association has approved a compromise contract proposal worked out by a labor mediator to end the wage dispute with striking musicians. But a spokesman for the musicians' bargaining unit says it will recommend that the orchestra reject the proposal. Two small children reported lost on Christmas Eve in a department store in New York were found dead last evening in a vacant lot. Police say the bodies of a two-year-old boy and his four-year-old sister were badly burned, but the exact cause of death is not immediately known. The mother and her boyfriend are being charged with murder. Three persons who were adrift in the Pacific for nine days without food or water have been rescued by a Japanese fishing vessel. The Coast Guard says the three were suffering from exposure when picked up last night about 1,700 miles southwest of Honolulu. Search parties yesterday found five bodies aboard an aircraft missing since last night in South Dakota. The wreckage of the twin-engine plane was discovered about 15 miles southeast of Pier. In the first round of the Motor City Classic at Detroit, DePaul beat George Washington 73-57. to In the National Basketball Association, Detroit's Pistons beat the Chicago Bulls 101-87. to The Fiesta Bowl football game went to Arizona State that stunned Nebraska 17-14. to And the Sun Bowl football game at El Paso, Texas. Pittsburgh defeated Kansas 33-19. to The first round of the New York Festival in college basketball, Indiana beat Columbia 106 to 63. Super CFL, Larry Lujak. If you've been thinking about taking out a loan to pay some bills, then shop around at banks, savings and loans, or even credit unions for the lowest interest rate. A reminder from the Illinois CPA Society and CFL. CFL weather overnight, occasional light snow, low near 23, cloudy today with a high around 34, cloudy Sunday, little change. Winds northwest 5, temperatures northwest 25, southwest 24, downtown of Marina City, 25 degrees at CFL.
the CFL. Somebody's playing the piano. <laughs> three minutes to three with Jim Bernard Evil. How are things in your little town? They're great here at Super CFL. In my little town, I grew up believing God keeps his eye on us all. He used to lean upon me as I pledged allegiance to
fellows, for Tammy and Belinda, Penny and Rusty, Jim Bernard, Mama, feel it. <laughs> Nothing more than feeling Trying to forget my Feelings of love Teardrops Rolling down on my face To forget my feelings of love, feelings. Oh, my life, I feel. I wish I'd never met. No, Lunar 25, tomorrow cloudy, then around 34, Sunday cloudy with a little temperature change in store, not much winds are northwest 9 miles an hour temperatures, are uh, northwest 25, southwest 23, in downtown Marina City we have 25, Jim Bernard looking at your photographs, and they are sensuous, super CFL.
is to see a hell as many times as they can. Each time it's worth ten dollars. We pay as fast as you can say. <laughs> equipment can put a big dent in your budget. So when you want the best without paying top dollar, visit Tanucci's Music Center, 7221 West Diversity in Elmwood Park. If you're looking for an amplifier, they'll steer you toward the EMC display. Tanucci's has a complete line of EMC guitar and bass amps from 100 watts to 365 watts. All models have EMC's new, improved plug-in power modules, top quality components made in the USA, and front-loading speaker systems for total sound dispersion. And all this in the medium price range. And Tanucci's offers same-day service. See the portable, stackable EMC amps and the 330-watt, 8-channel, 24-input EMC stereo PA system at Tanucci's Music Center, 7221 West Diversity in Elmwood Park. Bank cards accepted, easy credit. Call 453-9000. <laughs> Sitting now with Jimber and Hart, having a ride all across the Spender on top. Super CPL.
Yes. Suburban Humane Society reminds you that if you're considering buying a pet, visit your nearest animal shelter first. I think I've been to her house. For the nearest one, call 620-1200-320. Oh, oh, now, I love it. It's a funky four seasons with Jupiter and our people at CFL. birthday to you and mention your name. Well, you lose.
Hands. CFL. The request line saying hi to Joe and Mama Kirikopoulos. To Rocco and Louie, whoever they are. The ever popular East Cliff, the Wonder Stark, and Don at CFL. Let's go.